Hey everyone, I'm Armory Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Monster Legends live stream where we are going to be doing non stop back to back to back grand duels. I hope you guys are excited about this. I want to give a huge, huge thanks to Zara for contacting me on Discord and letting me know that I could use your accounts, all 340 plus gems, to do the grand duels. So, 355 gems. So, I have permission to do this and this is really exciting. When Zara contacted me, I was like, uh, that sounds like a really good idea, but I suck at Grand Duels, as you guys have seen. Well, more of the Classic Duels, I just get wrecked. But, hey, we're gonna try, okay? So, we're, the goal is to try to get enough Nemesis Souls so that Zara can get a Nemesis Monster. So, I need everyone's help. I need you guys to let me know who's the best monster to use, what runes should I put on the monster, what skills. I need your guys' help so we can get Zara to get a Nemesis Monster. And again, a huge thanks for letting me use your account to... Do the grand duels and to try to get nemesis souls right now we have 28 and we need to try to get to 100 i'd be happy with 80 so who knows how long this live stream is going to be um if i end up losing a lot i might just call it quits because i don't want to lose all of the gems so we'll see what happens all right guys we'll see because i also i might have to get going but we'll see how this ends up being um, let's just make sure, let's wait, let's make sure everyone is here. Welcome everyone to the live stream. Welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are ready for this. And let's jump right into it. We're gonna click the Grand Duel. We're gonna pay the 20 gems. And these are the first monsters to choose from. Kane, Wasper, and Zizania. Let me know in the chat who do you think I should be using. Do I use Kane? Do I use Wasper? Do I use Zizania? I think all of these are really more of attackers, right? Removes negative effects from itself. Um, poison, applies evasion, one extra turn, applies bleed. Let me know in the chat, who should I use? Wasper, Kane, or Zizzy? Let me know. And how is everyone? Let me know how are you guys doing and all of the crazy events going on in Monster Legends. Hopefully you saw my video yesterday. There is so much going on. It is hard to keep track of everything. It is ridiculous to try to keep track of everything, but... Nonetheless, we try our best. All right. So, oh, the chat is coming in. I see a lot of Kane. I see a lot of Ziz. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Zizzy or Wasper. Zizzy because of Pierce. Um, let's see. Keep in mind, I don't even start off with the status caster Pierce, so that doesn't help too much. I see a lot of Kane. I think there's an overwhelming Kane and Wasper. So. Let's see. What I like about um, Wasper is that he starts the game off with his with his evasion. Here, we're going to do the straw pull. So, I think we'll do this. We'll give you guys like 30 seconds. So, make sure to be looking at the chat so that you guys can vote. So, I'm going to be posting it in the chat and we'll wait a couple seconds. Yeah, I actually, actually don't I don't know if Zizzy would be that good. Zizzy's an attacker that introduced Pierce, but I don't know how effective it'll be in a in a grand duel. So you guys let me know who to choose and let me see if I can do a window capture open. Okay, perfect. So let me refresh the results and it is a three-way tie with three votes, so make sure you vote. We'll give it a couple seconds and we will see who wins. And let me see if I can make this a little bigger, transform, fit to screen, there we go, that's a good size. Refresh results, Kane is winning 5-2-1, Zizzy has the least votes, we'll try to get at least 10 votes on everyone. Actually, let's see, how many people are active? There's a lot of people in the chat, so I need you guys to vote, okay, I need you guys to let me know who do you want to see. Kane is taking the lead right now. Kane is still in the lead, so I think we're gonna call it at 20 votes. That's when we can that's when we can end it. So we're at 18 votes and we are at 19 votes. Kane is winning. We need one final vote. Now that it'll matter, Kane will win. 21 votes. So Kane takes it. So Kane it is. Hey, thank you, SKS Gaming, for the donation. Thank you very much. On to the next one. We have Nitro Blaster, Silver Leaf, and Nabuline. Who do you guys think? we should use on this one who do you guys think so i think we'll just do the we'll do the straw poll the whole time because it's fun so here is another link you guys let me know 
Who do you want me to use? Let's bust out this new straw poll. And let's see who wins. Do 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 do. Refresh results and Silverleaf is winning. No one wants Nabuline. Silverleaf is overwhelmingly winning. Oops. Let's What did I do? View results. Eight votes. Silverleaf is still taking the lead. Guys, feel free to let me know in the chat, but also make sure to click on straw poll and make your vote at, as soon as we get to 20 votes. That is who we're going with. Dude, dude, dude. He said my name. Yeah, seriously. Thank you for the donation. I always love shouting people out that give donations. All right, we're at 15 votes. Silverleaf, I think um, it doesn't even matter at this point. Silverleaf is definitely going to take it. So, Silverleaf it is. All right, and now for the final one. We have Chingling, we have Dragar, and we have Marquis de Flambe. All of these, I think, are fantastic, to be honest. Chingling starts to game off with cooldown protection to your team. Right, yeah, hard, status cast to cooldown protection. Dragar starts to game off with sunburn and can trade disable and everything. Oh, man. And then Marquis has anticipation, although, to be completely honest, I feel like Marquis isn't going to get that many votes. For me, my vote is actually going to go to Dragar, but let's see what you guys say. Flambe. Create poll. Let's open this up. Who, how, <laughs> who to use? Question mark. Create poll and view results. You know what? I'm going to vote. I want Dragar. But let's see what you guys have to say. So, post. Make sure to vote in the chat. So, who's it going to be? I know I want Dragar, but let's see what you guys say. Dragar and Chingling at one. See, he's good because of his status caster. One for Flambe. And then six for Dragar. Oh, yeah, this is going to be pretty straightforward, right? He's like, oh, SKS Gaming with another donation. Thank you very, very much. Every little donation helps. You love my channel? Thank you. All right, we're at 15 votes. And even if we were to get five votes on Chingling, no way Dragar would lose. So let's just refresh, and yep, Dragar it is. Alright, so now let's think of a room combination and skills and everything. So, Silverleaf I think is pretty straightforward. Three speed, right? Um, single possession, yes. Skill mirror to our allies, yes. Possession and pointing to our enemies, yes. And this, oh, this actually got a, this actually got a, a one turn warm up. So that's fine. I think everything else is good. Dragar, what do you guys think? Should I make Dragar also 3 speed? Should I put something else on him? Let's see, removes positive effects from one enemy. This is a must-have. Flight to the Sun, I don't know if I need that. Uh, trade Disable applies days on all enemies. That's pretty good. Guard Down and Sunburn, I don't need since I started the game off with Sunburn. Um, bleed in Nightmares to all enemies. So we're going to go with a DLT route, right? We're going to try to DLT the enemy. So maybe instead of Trade Disable, I can do that. And you guys let me know if you disagree and if I should be doing other stuff. Um, Kane, on the other hand, what does Kane need? Hey, welcome to your very first live stream. Um, let's see. Evasion to itself. Shadow Wander. Mass gains as much life as damage dealt. I like that. Gives one extra turn. Um, I don't think I want to give him that many extra turn skills, and I don't need Stigmata. I like the evasion skill. Applies regen to itself. Uh, removes negative effects from itself. Applies stamina, gives one extra turn, applies bleed. Alright, so I think we can go with the... How strong is Quick Bite? Four turn cooldown, yikes. Applies bleed. Um, fire damage. Sunburn, let's see. Soul Rip, Ancestral Bite, Shadow Wander. Deals heavy, applies, yeah, I definitely need that. Don't need that. I don't need Eternity Warrior. Actually, we're just going to remove negative effects. Maybe this. Maybe. Quick Bite... Um, let's see. Um, deals massive special damage. This is for sure. I guess I can do these two skills. I think this can work. Alright. So, now let's do rune setup. So, 3 speed on Dragar, 2 support speed on Kane, 3 support speed on Silver. Hmm. 3 speed on Dragar, 2 support on Kane, 3 speed on Drag... To support on Kane. I keep reading the same comments over and over. Keep the trait disable. You think I need to keep the trait disable? 
let's see. Do 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 do. Hmm. Oh, don't I have um? Whoops. All right. What do I need? One run speed on Kane and three. All right. Oh, shoot. Charmless, thank you very much for the donation. Hey, hello, Armor. Does your brother still play Monster Legends? No, unfortunately, he doesn't play anymore. He stopped playing. All right. So we're going to do one speed Kane to give him a little advantage. We're going to do three speed on my other two monsters. We'll see how this works out. And then if this doesn't work, you guys can let me know and I can swap it out. Swap, swap, swap. And we'll see how this works. And then I'm... I'm mm, I feel like... I feel like I want to swap it off with Kane. Because I have enough DOTs. Let me see. Undead Dragon. The bleeding could really help, right? Because I have Bleed Hater. So as long as I go first with Dragar, then I can kill with Kane. Will Stigmata be strong enough if I have Bleed Hater? Should I run Stigmata? Should we try that? We'll keep Shadow Wanderer. What if I um what if I do two speed Kane? Two speed Kane, set up my evasion skill, my Shadow Wanderer, and then I can Stigmata next turn. How does that sound? How does that sound to you guys? So maybe I don't need quick bite? Like, you think this will work? Should I two-speed Kane? Put the team speed instead of speed on Kane. Here, we'll try... I don't know, we'll, we'll try and random stuff. I don't think there's such a thing as, like, a foolproof strategy. We'll see how this works. I don't think nine-team speed is the best setup. Like, you've seen, you guys have seen me one, hopefully, with, like... With nine speed. Nine speed worked out wonderfully. Alright, let's see. Nabuline goes first. Gorg, Nabuline. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of disagreements. Alright, recharge. Alright, who is a threat? Who do I need to stop? Um, trade disable and stun. Um, Undead Dragon. I think I need to do Fuse Radar. No, we're going to Flight to the Sun. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I should have stunned Hopkin, huh? He can OTK Kane. No, 9 speed? No, 9, nine speed is like 3 speed on every monster. Okay, this didn't work out. This was bad. Game changer ML. We should do this again sometimes with the voice chat. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Alright, so the Kane strategy won't work because that... Well, actually, hmm. Here, we'll try something else. Um, this is why I didn't want to do this because I'm. Uh, Grandos are just tough. All right, what should I run instead of this? Like, how strong is Stigmata? Like, how strong is Stigmata? Really. Here, we'll try this again. Do, 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 do. Armor, what do I think about Mop? Um, I actually recorded a video on Mop, so you can check that out. I'll record. I'll release it later today. All right, both teams start off with Sunburn. Someone's gonna get hit with CDA. Do, 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 do. Stigmata is 30 damage, right? But keep in mind that I can actually give myself... Uh, let's see. Skill Mirror Life Regen. Stigmata is 30 damage, but keep in mind that I can actually give myself... Um, here, let's try to possess. Miss. Uh, fuse Radar. Trade Disable and Stun. 
Let's do that. Mm. Yeah, I'm total blinded, so it wouldn't matter. Alright, let's give myself evasion. Stigmata is dirty damage, but it, I also have bleed hater, so if I can set up with AoE bleed, it'll be 90 damage. That's the strat there. It's actually not that much setup. The more I think about it, it's actually not too much. I'm going to get hit with CDA, though. Yes, Necromancer is very good. Alright, recharge. Recharge. Alright, check it out. Um, so this is essentially the strat. We would do... Soul Rip. Stigmata Ancestral Bite. We'll do Stigmata. If only the bleed actually landed, though. Charmless. 7 team speed is good, too. Give 2 strength to the attacker. There's The thing is, there are so many different builds you can do. Thank you, Charmless, for that advice. I'll, I'll try it if, if it comes up. It definitely depends on the monsters you have and what opponents you face, too. Like, one of the battles I won, I used 3 speed on everyone, and I was able to deny. Like, my monster had single deny, and they had DOT, so it was an easy win. So, I don't know. It's it's tough to say, like, what actually works. It'd be cool if everyone... We should maybe open up a Discord channel where everyone posts what they've actually won with. Like, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, so... The cool thing is, I think I'm gonna win this. Potentially. Let's get rid of you. What happened? Oh! <laughs> the sunburn, huh? Fuse radar. Ouch. Ah, I'm losing this. Alright, so give Undead Dragon to Dragar and apply Bleed and King can do triple damage. That's actually the plan I'm doing. That's actually your plan. I'm trying out your plan. It's not working. It's not working, but it's not your fault. It's just... I don't know how well the... it actually, I don't know how well the setup actually works because I'm getting denied. Yeah, I, I just keep getting denied. Here, let's... If Silverleaf can go first, the problem is like if I don't land Denial on the main Denier... It's not working out. So, let's see. Don't do Grand Duels. I, I get the other guy disconnect. The game freezes. I lost three Grand Duels to that. That hasn't happened to me, actually. So, I'm good. Um, What do we try? What do we try? Um, Let's make Kane faster. I like that strategy. Let's make Kane fat. Let's or not. Let's not make Kane faster. Let's make the team faster. So we'll try two team speed. And you know what? Even Dragar, I think I can get away with a single team speed. Or maybe Dragar should go first. We'll see how this works. All right. Let's see if this works. Stormbeard, Nabuline, and Prince Charmless. Wow, someone actually brought a Charmless. Alright, so I think it'll work in this in this game. So, Enemy Denier still goes first. Is Necromancer good at rank 0? Yeah, I think Necromancer is good. Honestly, just for the... Did I, did I just get my cooldowns activated? I think he's good just for the fact that... Who should I... Let's do you. Possession, yay. I did get my cooldowns activated. See? Ah, the setup sucks. I can't set up the bleed. Alright, at least you're possessed. Um, I am gonna do... What I do like about Kane is the fact that I can Shadow Wander to protect myself. That evasion helps. Alright, this one I'll win. Recharge. Recharge. Um, Flight to the Sun. I'll give myself evasion. Evasion's a very nice thing to have, especially if the enemy doesn't have positive effect removal. Extraction, that's fine. Alright, this might be my first victory. I'm excited. Super excited here. It, opponent left the battle. Haha! -ha! One victory! Several more to go. Alright, let's keep it going. Let's keep this momentum going. Alright. Madam Fusion, a Ruby, and a Zygarde. They're running 6 speed, 3 team speed. Alright, so I get the first turn. They're both immune to possession, right? So the cool thing is, I can set up Skill Mirror. So come at me! I'm not afraid of you. I will reflect whatever you throw at me. How would I rune Mop? I would rune Mop with 3 speed. 
and I'd use him just to stun. That stun and shock is good with his with his precision. Oh, guard down. Thank you very much. I'm down for that. All right, come at me. I will come back at you. Control dice. Oh, wow, that had a beautiful land. Wow, I landed two double Mega Freeze too? Nice. What the heck was that? All right. Um, Undead Ritual, Bleed, and Nightmares. Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll Stamina Drain. Okay, this is gonna... You're gonna see... Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't realize I was, um... I was immobilized. Uh, I think we'll be fine, though. Oh, wait. I'm Mega Stunned. This was a... How does Control Dice land so much? You know what I've seen more? I've seen people are actually utilizing the 50% chance to deny skills because they have no warm-up. Some chance to deny is better than no chance to deny. Alright, let's remove stamina from everyone. Guard down is basically when your attacks always land. If the enemy has guard down, your attacks will always land 100% guaranteed. Alright, Mark of Zygarde, let's apply that curse and then Madam Fusion will die. Awesome. Cool. So make note of the changes. I am running Team Speed on Kane. He really hasn't done anything. Two teams, two speed on Dragard, three speed on Silverleaf, and then three team speed total. Let us keep going. Let us get at least one Nemesis Soul out of this. All right. O'Reilly and a Chingling, which is cool with me. Oh, guard down was on. That's why Control Dice landed. Oh, thank you for that. I was like, why is it landing? Um, opponent is disconnected, trying to connect. All right. Place possession and poison. I'm going to try to possess over here. Possession landed. In that case, okay, I think I can set it up. Um, I can't actually set it up. Play stun. Yeah, I'm gonna stun. I'm scared. I don't want my Arium to do anything. I'll set up evasion. How's that? I'll set up evasion. All right, let's see. This is much better. This is much better. Do you think you can make it with one life? Uh, I'm going to try. I don't know if I can, but I'm definitely going to try. Mega stun is when the opponent is stunned for two turns in a row. So they can't do anything for two turns. All right. Is this it? Is this where the opponent disconnects and I can't do anything? We'll wait a while. We'll cry. Cry emote. Do 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 do. Is there nothing I can do? Is this what you were talking about? Killer Mash? This is what you were talking about, huh? I can wait for an hour. I'm cool with that. <laughs> no. No. I feel if this happens, um... You should... We should, um... You should take note of the player. Because this is the cool thing is this is a live stream, so now you know the player name, and now we can just shame them. So I am gonna drink water, and we'll just wait. Like if it's all, if it's the opponent disconnecting, shouldn't it just time out on his side? Like why do I have to lose? All right, let's just. You know what? I'm guys. I'm gonna go get water, and I'll be right back. Wait, what if I go get water and it connects? Because the person's watching the live stream. Uh, we'll wait a couple more minutes. Supernova, this happened to me twice against the same dude. Okay, we should we should start creating a, a chat or something. We should create a Discord page. We should create a ban list or like a block list. Some sort of list of people that do this. So we know who to expect. And then maybe Soldier Point can do something about it. When this happens to me, I automatically win. Yeah, if the opponent disconnects, you should automatically win, I think. Do 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 do. Five hours later. <laughs> um, we have to keep the live stream going, so I, I might just have to exit out. I'll give it a few more seconds. Do, 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 do. In the meantime, um, here, let me pop this up. Take a look at that. Dragar won with an overwhelming 20 votes. Very nice. I wonder if I can, like, create who's the most popular... 
Like a list of the most popular monsters based on your guys' votes. Alright. I think I am gonna have to leave, so... This sucks. Wait, what happened if I just exit out? Open it back. Alright, let's see. Just sub. Thank you very much for the sub, Chickenator. Alright. Hey, Suze. How's it going? Alright. Let us um, go back to the live duels. Loading live duels. Continue. Oh, yeah. Counts as a loss. It is what it is. I will take the light cells. And hey, two nemesis souls. So we're slowly on our way. We are slowly on our way. Alright, let's do another one. All right, we got Samuel the Fever Scattle, Scatter, Scatter, Scatterer, Hopkin, and Warthok the Sunbringer. So, Warthok, Hopkin, amazing, amazing support, or Fever Scatterer, Sammy. Who should I use? Again, you can spam the chat if you want, but more importantly, make sure you vote in the straw poll I am providing. Please, please, please. Make sure to vote. I will pop out the vote and refresh results. No one's voted yet. So again, you can spam the chat. That's cool with me. Let the comments flood in, but make sure to do the straw poll. And I think it is time for a refresh. And we are at 100% Sammy with six votes. Sammy the Fever Scatterer. We got a vote in for Hopkin. Remember, at 20 votes, I cut it unless it's overwhelming in one in one monster, which it appears is going to be Sammy. 13 votes for Sammy, my goodness. Two for Hopkin. 13 still for Sammy. 16, which is 14 for Sammy. Wait, Hopkin got a vote. Hopkin got a vote. At this point, okay, it is 18 votes for Sammy. That is incredible. That is the most we've seen for a monster. So, confirm. Alright, we have Sunblast, we have Chingling, and we have Xyla the Faithful. I think Sunblast might win. I really like Chingling though. Keep in mind, he gives your mo your teammates status caster immunity, which is very powerful. If I'm if I'm facing a patient cyber, if I'm facing anyone that can activate cooldowns, another Sunblast, that's really helpful. Oh shoot, where'd my straw pole go? Um, let's see, who to use... Xyla. I, and I don't like Xyla. I feel like the extra turn monsters aren't worth being in the grand duels. They're just not that great. Create pull. Alright. So I think Sunblast will win, but I also like Chingling. But let's see, what does the straw pull actually say? Let us pop that open. View results. Xyla has won. Why Xyla? I shouldn't have even put Xyla's name. Sunblast has three... Oh, thank you. There's Chingling right there. Let's see. Refresh again. Sunblast overwhelming. Sunblast at 8. Xyla at 2. Sunblast at 11. I think this is another one where Sunblast is just one of those mega popular monsters that will always take it. Alright, and it's cool because he does have Possession and CD8 on turn 1. So with an overwhelming 12 votes, Sunblast takes it. Bam. And then for our last and final monster, we have Bellbreath, Xyla, and Prince Charmless. Isn't it funny how I was literally saying I do not like the extra turn monsters. I don't feel like they're good. For one, they have a cooldown or a warm-up. And second of all, you can't even use their extra turn skills if you're facing an anticipation monster because then you'll get wrecked. Alright, new set of monsters. Charmless, Xyla, Bellbreath. Let me know. Who do you think should win? Charmless, Zyla, or Bell Breath? Right now I have a Sammy. I have a Sunblast. So who should take the final spot? Let's see. Charmless. Charmless. Still Charmless. Still Charmless. Let me know in the chat. Ooh, Bell Breath with an upset. Alright, also guys, just keep in mind, who do I have? What strategy am I going to employ? Am I going to go an attacker? Am I going to go DLT? What am I going to do to win with this team? So think about that when coming up with a team, when coming up with that final monster suggestion. 
It is eight for bell breath. Let me see. What what can bell breath do with the monsters I have? Damage protection, move effects, blocks all with water. Like, do I really need support or do I need to go with one of the attackers, even if they're extra turn attackers? Bellbreath is at 13. Bellbreath is at 14, and that's 27 volts, so Bellbreath is going to take it. Alright. So, you guys voted for the team. Tell me, what? What, what am I? How am I going to win? What's the strategy here? What is the strategy? DOTs? That's what I'm thinking, right? Possession. So, let's see. Possession. Let me run the single CDA. Or am I already running it? Single possession. Activates AOE cooldown activated. I have a single CDA, right? Yeah, activates all cooldowns. There we go. Awesome. So, I have Sunburn with Sunblast. Uh, with Sammy, I'm going to do what? Pestilence? Bell breath. Let me make sure I have the right skills on bell breath. Let's see. Let's see. Allies block 50% of incoming damage. Applies damage boost. Gives one extra turn. Removes positive effects from one enemy. Gives one extra turn to itself. Immunity to control to all allies. I love that. Blocks all except water. I love that. Blocks 50% of incoming damage. Removes all negative effects from one ally. Gives one extra turn to itself. Wait, isn't this the same skill? Oh, from one enemy. From one ally. Ah. Okay, immunity to control to allies removes control. Don't I have this already too? Immunity to control. They're both zero. Cool. So I can use this even if I get CD8. I don't need the damage boost. I think my skill set is good. Blocks 50% of incoming damage. Cool. What do you guys think of the rune setup? Is this fine? Do you guys think this rune setup is fine? Let's see. I need that. Sunburn and blind. I need turn transfer. I think that'll be good. Do I need pesty? I don't need the sunburn. Um, don't need the sunburn. Death moratorium could be pretty good. No. Resurrection. Yes. Remove positive effects. Dazing. Yes. Pesty. Yes. DLT. Semi warrior. I, yeah. So I have cooldown. I think that I think this team could work. I don't know about bell breath. <laughs> Like, Bellbreath is awesome, don't get me wrong, but I feel like maybe I needed an attacker. I don't know. I feel like it could work. I feel like it could work. Removes pause. Do I need Mana Bird? Blocks 50% of incoming damage. I think maybe I need the removing negative effects from an ally. I think this might work. Or do I need the damage protect? I don't think I need damage protection, because a lot of times there isn't two attackers. So I need more effect removal. Alright, I think we're good to go. And fight. Alright, so we're doing a team that is relying on fast Ruby, but I get the first turn in. So I can CDA Ruby. I can CDA Ruby, and that's going to be the strategy. Bam, and I'll start with a sunburn. Alright, I can do immunity to control to our allies. Or blocks all except water. Unfortunately, you're water. So I'm going to go with the control immunity. And let's start damaging. So control immunity will help against Ruby. Give Sammy all life because he can resurrect. If Sammy has all life, then I'm going to get wrecked. Haha! -ha! Pesty! Let's do that pesty. Damage reduction, especially on, on Hukuai over here. Oh, I got this. Yeah, this is easy. CDA next turn. I got this. Sunblast everyone. The the bleeding, the poison. I got this. Oh, I got hit with CDA. Good thing I'm immune to control. Alright, what can I do? Blocks all. Um, removes positive effects. Uh, dang. <laughs> Let's just keep that control immunity going. Maybe I don't got this. Oh shoot, we have over 400 people watching this live stream. Welcome to this super awesome Grand Duel live stream where we're going to be just doing non-stop Grand Duels essentially. That's the plan. 
All right, Ruby, this is your second turn. All right, you can you can probably kill Sunblast, Hukuai. You can probably do that. Ah, oh, darn it. Ah, so luckily I can res, but I don't think I'm gonna have a chance to do that. I think you can do explosion now, and then the sunburn will kill me. Ah, oh, darn it. All right, GG, GG. We'll try it again. If I lose again, we will try Sammy as an attacker. We'll give him strength, and we'll see how... See, I feel like if only Balbreath would have been a monster with a DLT, I think that would have worked better. Alright, we have a Pierce Side, a Hukuai, and a Stormbeard. And they are running 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 team speed. Very interesting. I'm going to start by activating cooldowns on Pierce Side. And we'll see where this goes. Way Anchor. Alright, we are going to do... Immunity to control again. Uh, Pesty. Maybe a recharge would have been good, but he... Because he can hit disempowerment. See, as long as monsters have a single cooldown activate, a single deny, that's what makes the monster shine. Like Stormbeard can deny. Hukuai can deny. Pierside can deny. That's what makes a team really good, because you can literally counter every single monster. Applies control to immunity to hold team again. Okay, we're going to kill Pierside. That's the plan here. Recharge. Recharge. Maybe we need to run a zero cooldown skill, a one turn cooldown skill. Meltdown Ray. Alright. See, and I'm afraid to do my extra turn skills. This is why I don't really like Charmless and Xyla. Go for the sails. Alright, I can't do anything. I'm gonna have to remove those negative effects. So, we'll do this. I gave him an extra charm, but hopefully it was to my benefit. Because he did deadly. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, this is actually good for me. Um, unstoppable. We'll attack. Sammy still can't do anything. Recharge. He's going to have to. I don't think he has AoE, so he's going to have to choose to kill Sunblast. Yep. And then I think I'll die with the DLT. Man, I need a skill that can remove torture. And I only have pain. Darn it. And I'm done. That CDA ruined it for me. Recharge. Deadly interruption. Alright, guys. I am... I don't know. I'm iffy on Balbreath. I don't think Balbreath was the best option for my third monster. Um... Maybe I should have be running Mana Bird. I think that would have maybe helped more. Mating blocks 50% of incoming damage. Removes. Alright, so. <sighs> this I haven't really had a chance to use. We'll put in Mana Bird. And do you guys want to try using Sammy's an attacker? Because Sammy, when he gets hit with CD8, it just, it doesn't really help. Uh, so maybe this, right? Because this would... Even if I get hit with CDA, that wouldn't matter much. So if I'm going to do that and I'm not going the DLT route, I guess I don't need Pestilence. Pain is fine. Do I still need Unholy Resurrect? I've never had a chance to use it because I always get denied. So Smallpox, so what do you guys want? One Strength, two Strength, one Speed? Let me know in the chat. What kind of runes do you want on them? Let me know what kind of runes do you want on them. Because I'm just not... I'm not. I don't, I, I'm sorry everyone. I just don't feel like Belbreath was the best, best option for my third monster. Given that I had Sammy and Sunblast. I just don't think it really worked out. But yeah, like, what I like about this live stream is that you guys can see the opponents and how they're beating me. And stuff that sticks out is like having that single deny. 
right? Even though I denied Pure Side, Stormbeard came in and denied Sammy by Stamina Drain. And then Hukuai came in and activated my cooldowns. So having monsters with that single deny, that is really game changing. Alright, let's see. Uh, two strength, two strength. You guys really want two strength. So it's going to be two strength and a team speed or just two strength and a speed. Two strength, two team speed, one strength. Two strength, one team speed. So, whoops. We'll try this out and we'll see how this goes. And fight. So now I'm running four team speed. So any team that has five team speed at least... Oh, I'm, I'm wrecked. I'm done for. I'm done. GG. Alright, Sunblast is going to get denied. Alright, Sammy is going to get denied. Probably Mineral Blood or something. Okay, then Sammy's going to get stunned. Alright, immunity to control. Alright, pain, smallpox. Ooh, that's pretty powerful. Alright, who's next in the turn order? I am gonna... I'm gonna hope that the days... I'm gonna hope that days works. Unpaid loan. Total exhaustion. Yeah, see that every monster having single deny is just so powerful. Like this is a this is a team that I that I'm pretty sure could easily win uh, nine wins in grand duels. Like easy. Like they have DOT. They have so much denial. That's all they need. This is like this. This is an example of a fantastic team. Uh, deals heavy light damage may sunburn. I think. Oh, if the sunburn would have landed, I think Ruby would have died. Alright, GG, GG. So, not even one win with this team. Alright, but it goes like that, right? It goes like that. <sighs> so, yeah, Grand Duels, they are... They are... They're, they're, they're not that grand. Give me one sec, everyone. Let me message Zara just to make sure that I should keep doing the Grand Duels. I mean, if I could at least get to... If I could at least get to... Five wins, I would get that extra Grand Duel ticket. Yeah, I, I like Classic just because... It's free, essentially. Alright. BAM! Marquis, Sunblast, Dragar, I am picking the first one, Dragar. Alright, Patient, Cyber, Nitro Blast, Sunblast, I am thinking Sunblast. I'm also thinking Patient, Cyber, but I'm thinking Sunblast, but I'll let you guys vote. Right now we have a good thing going for us. We start off with an OP monster, so let's see. Cyber. Nitro. Sunblast. Just, I'm curious what you guys will vote for. So as usual, let me know in the chat. Who do you think is worth using? Wait, I see a lot of nitros. Why nitro? Does he have a crazy skill I don't know about? It gives one extra turn to itself. Disables trait, applies pierce. Oh wait, yeah, that's powerful. That's super powerful, and then I can do DLTs. Ooh, I like... even Yeah, Nitro could work, actually. I'm crazy. Nitro could work, but let's see what you guys say. Yeah, I, I forgot that Nitro has the post-human. Thank goodness he's level 120. Guaranteed denial. I, I literally... Okay, with Nitro Blaster and Dragar, I literally have guaranteed denial. Dragar can do Fuse Radar, which removes positive effects, trade disables and stuns, and then Nitro Blaster... 
has post human, which self straight disable, applies pierce, and activates cooldown one enemy. So that's pretty much guaranteed cooldown activate. And then I, I can just do the DLTs and I can win with DLTs. Burning and Ignition? Ooh, I love that. Alright, but let's see what you guys have to say. Are you guys ready? So when I post the links, it was eight votes. It was eight votes. Let's see who is it now. Ooh, Sunblast is taking it. 774. And Sunblast is also still good because of CDA. I don't know. I don't know. Because keep in mind, yes, Nitro Blast is slower. But he does start the game off with Artifact. So he's not going to be denied. So guaranteed turn in. And I, I would... I feel like doing the, the 9 speed. The 9 speed build. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. What does everyone think? Nitro is at 12. Sunless is at 8. Alright, we're going to try Nitro then. Ah, uh, this is exciting for me. Because I at first I was so against him. Oh my gosh, we have a good team. We have a good team this time around. Oh, we're good. I'm pretty sure we're good. I think... Oh, I like them all so much. I really like them all. Here, vote for these. So here's my thought process. Status guys to code on protection. This helps against Patient Cyber. This helps against Sunblast. Psyka has self-freeze immunity. What the heck is this? Team possession immunity. So that helps. And then I could freeze. Look at this amazing... Um, look at this amazing reduce accuracy on the enemy. Bake ice. Oh, it has a, it has a one turn warm up now. So yeah, blind sunburn and daze. And control immunity and remove negative effects. And it has no stamina cost. Oh, this one's tough for me. Um, honestly guys, I don't think Hopkin is the best here. Yeah, Hopkin is good, but I don't... Oh, actually that 50% total life. Bam, with all the DLTs in the game, that's like instant kill. I lied. Hopkin! Hopkin is my pick. But I want to see what you guys say. Yeah, Hopkin is actually very phenomenal here. Um, gosh, this, this is going to be a good team. I am excited. Uh, view results. Oh, shoot. Saika is taking it. Oh, wait. Why did I put Chingling twice? Ah, uh, got to redo this. Uh, here. Who to use? Hopkin, Saika, and Chingling. Oh, misspelled. Boop. Create poll. View results. Share link. I'm I'm kind of feeling Hopkin. I'm feeling Hopkin, guys. But this is a community ran stream. So let's see what you guys say. You know what? I'm gonna cast my vote. Let's make it fitty fitty. Oh, Hopkin is at 3, Psycho is at 2, Chingling is at 1. What do you guys think? Refresh results. 842. 882. 992. Oh, Psycho and Hopkin battling it out. Psycho is winning at 12. Psycho's at 12, Hopkin at 10. You guys have voted for Chingling? You gotta change your votes. It's obviously a Psycho Hopkin battle. Fourteen, twelve, two. Fifteen, thirteen, three. Alright. Let's, uh. Let's wait to 35 votes. Two more votes. 15, 15. Oh, this one's... Okay, if you voted for Chingling, can you go ahead and change your vote? Or is that not possible? Do I need to do a just... Let's see. Refresh results. 17 on Hopkin. Ooh, this is exciting. All right. Let's... 37. Let's just get to 40 votes then. 41 votes. All right, Hopkin it is. All right. This is going to be exciting. Let me change the skills. Uh, change skills. Let's see. Removes negative effects from all allies? Yes. Deals heavy metal damage to one enemy. Applies random protect to all? Yes. 
Yes. Dodge area, I don't think I need. True vision, cooldowns, protection. Eh, don't need that. Removes shields from all enemies. I don't think I've ever encountered a scenario where I needed shields. Removes all negative effects from all allies. Ooh. Wait, all negative effects from all allies. Removes positive effects from all enemies. Deals low metal. So, I believe retreat will be good. Um... Let's see, applies double damage to all allies, gives one extra turn to itself. Rune setup, guys, give me suggestions. Because originally I was going to go in, apply sunburn to an enemy. Originally I was going to go in and do 9 speed, but now we'll see how things swap. Oh, I still have it up. Thank you for that comment. Don't get sad when you get hit with CDA and I could have picked Chingling. Hey, you guys voted. So it's up to you. You guys, you guys voted for me. All right, multiple enemies, burn and ignition. Yes, combined with Dragar. Oh, I love that. That is glorious. So beam of Inferno for sure. Don't care for that. Apply sunburn to enemies. Ha! Ah, don't care for that. Apply sunburn and ignite to an enemy. Don't care for that. Applies burn and fire weakness to an enemy. Don't care for that. Gives one extra turn. Applies fire weakness. Don't care for that. Applies ignite to one enemy. I only care for this. For the fact that it is no cooldown, so if I get hit with CDA, I have something I can do. Apply Sunburn to all enemies. Reapplying Sunburn would be a little nice. Gives one extra turn to itself. I think I could do that, and I think we're good with this. Alright, and I definitely not Strength. Definitely not. Wait! 6 Team Speed and 3 Strength on Nitro? Oh, that's an interesting build. But I think, very interesting build. I think speed, this was my original thought process. Drygar with speed and him with speed. And then Hopkin, like Hopkin can get rid of the... Hopkin can, get, Hopkin can literally get rid of my Nitro Blast trait disable. Like, how cool is that? Who's faster? 4095? 4 1. So. So, I would need to have Hopkin go second in the turn order, like after Nitro Blaster. So, maybe I need to give Hopkin 2 speed and team speed. Otherwise, Hopkin goes before Nitro Blaster, which I don't want. But then the cool thing is I could kill someone. We'll see. I think this is the best set. How can Dragar guarantee deny everyone? Dragar can deny one person. I think I think this will work. Mark of Zygar, yes. Fuse Radar. Trade Disable Sun, yes. Flight to the Sun. Essence Devour. Do I need Trade Disable? Undead. Oh, Bleed of Nightmares. I need that haunt. More than Trade Disable? For lots of DOTs? Or actually, I probably will never use this just because I have Curse and I want to do Curse first. I will keep this for now and we'll see. I, I have, I'm feeling pretty confident about this team. Like, I, I genuinely love this team. So we'll see how well it works. <sighs> Let's do this. I'm feeling pretty good about this team. Keep in mind, the game starts off with Sunblast, or with Sunburn on the enemy team, so that's good. Oh, I'm feeling really good about this team. By the way, for those of you wondering, the final results were Hopkin 28, Saika 18, Chingling 3. Alright. Waiting for opponent. No! No! All right, perfect. I'm um, for some reason there's a six speed, a six. Uh, there's a six straight. What what is going on? Who am I facing? Why do you have so many weird monsters? All right, plus burn and ignite. No, I am gonna start by by activating cooldowns on LK9, and then I'm going to do fuse radar on Wasper, and see denial denial. So now I need to do something on this guy over here. You know what? I'm going to give my team a positive effect. Destination unknown. 
And let's see, I have Stamina Regen, 100% Damage Mirror, and Photophobic Shield. Cook them well. Alright, I don't know what that does. I don't care what that does. Burn and Ignite. Yes. And then I am going to do Mark of Zygar. Yeah, I think Mark of Zygar will be beautiful. That's one down. Oh, look at all that DLT damage. This is why you don't need strength. When you have DLT monsters, it is so straightforward. It is easy. Ignition Beam Ignite. Core Exposure. Uh, yeah, we'll do Core Exposure. And then Post Human. It doesn't really matter. We'll just kill our canine. Yeah, this one's so straightforward. Look at all this beautiful DLT. Curse. Ignition, Sunburn, Bleed, Nightmares, Burning, my goodness, and then Countdown, so Hopkin can kill. Ah, oh, he was a miss. Beautiful team, I love this team. Alright, let's just, if I if I face a team that has um, Chingling, I could be in trouble. If I face a team that is doing 9 speed, I can be in trouble, but we'll see. Oh, by the way, we're at 475 viewers, so come on, let's get to 500. All right, we have a six team speed Makugian team life. This is very weird and interesting. Um, I wonder if I just start the game off with crazy DLTs, how I would win, if I would win. Um, so let's see, who do I need to deny for sure? Activates all cooldowns. Let's activate cooldowns on this monster. Let's fuse radar on Hopkin, because he can remove stuff. And let's do Destination Unknown on Makugan. And cool. What do I have? Recharge. Alright, we'll go into the DLTs next turn. Nanovirus. Alright, that's cool. Whatever. So, Burn and Ignite to everyone. Uh, Mark of Zygar. And Hopkin. What does Hopkin do? Let's we'll just kill Hopkin. Hopkin kills Hopkin <laughs> with countdown. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Core exposure. Bam! Two wins. Ah, oh, this is great. Love this team. This is fantastic. Winning. Let's do this. Yeah, so, see, the whole reason Hopkin is one team speed and two single speed is because I want him to go after Nitro Blaster, not before. Oh, there is a ninth speed. Okay, so this is a team that could potentially beat me. So I gotta be I gotta be smart about this. Honestly, I just wanna go DOTs like go crazy on DOTs. Should I maybe do that? Post human activates all cooldowns on one enemy. Let's activate cooldowns on patient cyber. Let's fuse radar on Dragar. And we'll go from there. See, cause. He has double stun, so he can immobilize one of my monsters. So if he wants to immobilize Nitro, that's fine with me. We'll see what happens. Oh, he went with the DLTs. Look, I can retreat and regroup. So we'll do that. And then I can do core exposure. Oh, wait, no. No. No core exposure. No core exposure. Beam of Inferno. And... Ooh, Bleeding Nightmares? No, you are not disconnecting. Oh my god, you are not disconnecting. You're kidding me. Turn ends in 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No! You are kidding me. Everyone remember this person. Remember God. God doesn't play fair. I'm gonna go get water, because I have DOT, so I can win with DOTs alone. I'll be back. This is dumb. All right, I'm back. Yep, that is not fun. <sighs> this is dumb. 
This was like an easy victory too. If he would have died, if he would have died with DLTs, that would have counted as my win, because then they would have all died. This is so dumb. It should make them all recharge. What the heck is this? All right. Well, can't do anything, right? Um, I'm keeping the team because the team is awesome. Oh, there's Chingling right there. So let's see how this plays out. Ruby goes first. I'm going to get hit with Mineral Blood. Who's going to get hit? Let's see. It was Dragar. So I can... Can he do removals? I don't even know what he does. Mm, I guess we'll find out right now. Brandon Ignite, everyone. Recharge. And who do I want to kill? I'll kill Chingling because I don't know what he does. See that Cuckoo's Countdown with um with Sunburn and all the DLTs is crazy strong. Dang. Enlightenment. That's fine with me. I pretty much have a guaranteed kill. Like if they don't deny Hopkin. And since I have Artifact, if they don't deny me, I have a guaranteed kill. Uh, watch. I'm going to do Core Exposure. Because I want... I want his extra turn to activate and kill him. <laughs> and Ignition Beam. And Flight to the Sun for fun. I keep this in case I need the Evasion. Alright. Yeah, I, this is the kind of team that is an easy 9 victories, I believe. As long as I don't get into any cheaters. Patient Cyber, Neobuki, and Saika. Five team speed. So Cyber gets the first turn in. He can only deny one. And this is why having multiple deniers comes in handy. So he went with a deny over here. Um, Saika can remove, right? Quick, let me know. Does Saika have positive effect removal? Monster Legend Sy Saika. Ah, ah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Ah, I panicked. <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens. Alright, we want to kill... 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 Darn it, I hope Psychic doesn't have positive effect removal. Or negative effect removal. Ah, he does! Dang it, I should have done. I should have killed Psyka. I'm so mad from that last battle. Ah, oh, that shouldn't have happened. All right, ignition beam. Bye bye. Recharge. See, I knew that zero cooldown ignition beam would come in handy. Recharge. I need to be like voice chatting with Yami so Yami can help me out <laughs> since Yami knows everything. Oh, that sucks. Ah, uh, this was a this was a loss, but it shouldn't have been a loss. I should have killed Saika, and the rest would have been easy. Yeah, I'm actually not really familiar with the new monsters. <laughs> Alright, well... Again, I still believe this was a this is a really phenomenal team I have. Um, just a combination of misplays and whatnot. All right, what do I do? What do I do? Post human activates all cooldown on one enemy. Um, ooh, yeah, let's uh, let's do it on Helguden. Um, recharge hopefully. No, I'm going to do retreat and regroup. Retreat and regroup. Get rid of that anticipation. So see, I have my artifact back, and that's all I wanted. So with this nifty little combo of Hopkin Nitro Blaster, I'm able to cooldown activate, and then give get back my artifact trait. So he can stun me. That's fine. He won't stun. 
my Nitro Blaster and then I can DOT. Um, so let's do apply Sunburn to one enemy gives one extra churn. So we'll Sunburn you. <laughs> Why did I forget he had Anticipation? Never Dying Curse. Um, if anything, this will deal damage on him. Ah, shoot. I think I'm losing this one, too. Ah, sadness. Um, days. Oh, yeah. For everyone wondering why I couldn't do what you guys told me to, or why I didn't know about Psyka, is there's a 20 second delay between the live stream and the chat. So when I asked the question, there wasn't any answers in the chat until 20 seconds later. So it's just the way it works, unfortunately. So I wasn't able to respond in time. All right, what is going on? Man, I just feel cheated. I feel like I just, after, I feel like it all went downhill after that cheat. Man, this was this should have been good. This was a phenomenal team. I'm just gonna spam the cry emoji. I think I need to make a list of all the monsters that can remove positive effects from my team, remove negative effects from the whole team, from a single ally, and with that knowledge of mine, like study it for a bit. I think that's what I should do. Alright, at least I got three nemesis souls. Man. Alright, um. So this one was a little better. We'll do another one. This also gives you guys a good idea of whether or not it's worth it to save up the 600 gems and do grand duels, or is it better just to buy a nemesis monster outright? Alright, let's see. It's not just God. There was another player earlier in the live stream too that also did the disconnect thing. I think in my second one. All right, and once again, for all of you that are watching the live stream right now, uh, I am not playing on my account. So Zara con contacted me on Discord and asked me to play live duels. And so that's what I'm doing right now. The goal is to try to get enough Nemesis Souls to get a Nemesis Monster. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. My reply to Zara was, I suck at Grand Duels. Please don't make me do this. But we're doing this. So huge thanks to Zara. If you see Zara in the chat or on Discord, make sure to say thanks for this. Because this is the whole reason you guys are getting this fun entertainment. Because originally we were going to do a live duel. But I think this is a lot more fun. Especially when I bring out the straw poll and we get to vote. And all that good stuff. Alright, here. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna go rewind the live stream and see who who was the other guy that froze the stream. Um, yeah, I'm asking Zara if I should continue because I suck. Let's see how many we have at, at the moment right now. At the moment we have thirty three. We need to get to a hundred. So we have a long way to go. Uh, let's. To, oh, Supernova. Armor. It just comes down to RNG. I got lucky enough, fortunately, so I'm crafting Sammy right now. I spent around 240. 240 is not bad at all. How many wins do I need for the Grand Duel ticket? Five. Okay. Definitely with the last game I could have done it. So we'll try it again. And we might stop after this. Especially if I do really bad, we'll stop. Even if I do good, we might stop. So again, make sure to thank Zara for this. And going in. Sunblast, Nebuline, Sunbringer. I already know. I think I know who's going to win. But let me bring out the straw poll. Let me see where it's at. Um, Sunbringer. Ah, ah, I can't spell. Sunbringer. Sunblast. 
Nabuline. Create poll. I'll start sharing it. All right, Armor, can you put Monster Legends music and sound? Um, I actually can't. I can because I don't know how loud the audio volumes will be, and I don't want to kill your guys' ears. Here, let me really quickly look at Nabuline. Um, apply stun twice in quicksand to all enemies. That's cool. Removes 50% of stamina from all enemies. Apply stamina leak. That's really good, too. Applies mega stun to one enemy. 50% shield. I like rock knuckles for the quicksand and stun. And then this stamina leak. That's good denial. And doesn't this monster, like, cannot get hit with immune skills? Why aren't you guys asking me to use Nabulite more? Alright, are you guys ready? Let us see who is winning. Sunblast with 10. Sunbringer with 5. Wow, Sunbringer has a lot of votes. I'm curious, do you guys not like Sunblast? I'm not Sunblast, do you guys not like Nabuline? Like, let me know in the chat, what's bad about about Nabuline? Because to me it looks like a pretty good monster. Can get hit with control. Can stamina leak in 50% drain. And can stun and quick stun, that's pretty good. Like, don't get me wrong, Sunblast is great too, but he's not immune to control. Alright, let's see. Alright, Sunblast is still in the lead with 13. We'll try to get to 30 votes. Let's see. Um, Let's see. Do, 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 do. Armor, just try to get those 5 wins. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get those 5 wins. Get that free duel ticket. I don't get why you pick Sunblast over Nabuline. I am equally confused. I need to find out. Nabuline has 100% stamina drain as well? That's awesome. Nabuline can single 100% stamina removal. Nabuline is good. Nabuline is faster than Sunblast too. She got anime hair. Take Nabuline and change the skill. Should I use Elementium to rank up my eyes to rank 3? Is that when he gets Megatont? Because you definitely need the Megatont. Nab is fine, but Sunblast is better. Nebulan relies on stun. She's unversatile. No, she has stamina drain. Isn't that awesome? Hi, Simon. She has, she has stamina drain, too. I like Sunblast more because of AoE cooldown activated. But keep in mind, her advantage is that immunity to stun, freeze, and possession. Alright, well, let's see. Let's see how this has changed. Refresh. Sunblast is 17. Nebulan at 12. Alright, we'll do five more votes, and we'll see who takes it. So, at this point... Oh, if three votes go to Nabuline, it could be a tie, so let's see. Three... Here, let me post the link again. And let's see. You have not felt the pain. It happened to me five times. Frozen game, disconnected guy. Alright, uh, Sunblast has 18 votes, so at this point, it's impossible for Nabuline to win. Some blast it is. Bum bum bum. All right, we have Hukuai, Neo Boogie, and Madam Fusion. I know who I want. I want to see who you guys think I should use. So let me really quickly create another straw pull. We'll do Fusion. We'll do Neo, and we'll do Hukuai. Oh, misspelled. It's okay though. View results. Do, 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 do. Can you download Monster Legends for a computer on Windows 10? I believe so. You just need to change your location to... You need to change your location to Spain. Um, Nebuline is amazing. I won with her like three times. I agree. Nebuline, to me, to me, just based on the whole immunity to control, being able to stamina drain and stun and DOT, Nebuline looks better to me. Alright, so I'm going to cast my vote on this one. You know what? I think I'm just going to start casting my vote too. I'm going with Hook. Oh, p perfect. I'm glad you guys are in agreement. Yeah. I, I see I see a lot for Neo Buki, but I don't think Neo Buki would be as effective here. Keep in mind, if you saw that, that other battle, um, Disempowerment. Being able to activate cooldowns. That's powerful. 
right here, activate the cooldown, single cooldown activated, considering some that says single cooldown activated, and then having anticipation, that's powerful. So, without a doubt, he's going to win that one, so thank goodness we're in agreement here. All right. Ooh, we have Stormbeard and Nitro Blaster. Ooh, who is going to take this one, I wonder? Let us do... And the Roke, which I forget what he does. I think he has Anticipation, right? I forget what he does. Here, we'll take a look at him right now. Let me just create the poll. Create poll. All right. Let me click on the rogue in case you guys don't even know what he does either. Modern Earth Damage, 50, 25, Curse and Stamina Leak. Oh, that Curse is nice, and the Stamina Leak. See? Curse and Stamina Leak combined with 50% Stamina Drain would have been fantastic if I chose this monster. Um, Evil Laughter. Uh, he's not that great. Stormbeard is another CDA, right? Uh, lots of more Stamina Drain, I believe. Activates all cooldowns on enemies. Another, yeah. Imagine him in Sunblast, back-to-back -back cooldown activate. I believe he also has way anchors. Nice. And then Nitro. We saw what Nitro can do. Lots of DOT. Ooh. I want Nitro or I want Stormbeard. I don't care for the other guy. All right. Oh, my goodness. Nitro took it by far. All right, cool. So, this is going to be... I think this is another team that has the potential to get nine wins. So I'm super excited about this. Let me do Fire Show. Um, I think I can win with DOTs, with DOTs again. I think this is a DOT team. Let me make sure I run... I think last time I removed Support the Organics. Burning and Ignition gives one extra turn. Core Exposure. Last time I ran the Zero Cooldown skill because I might need it. So... I think I can do without, applies burn and ignite, gives one extra turn, applies burn and ignition, one turn, no, oh wait, um, three turn cooldown, three turn cooldown, sunburn to one enemy, I will do, um, I'll get rid of this since I already have burn and ignite, that's just in case I get hit with CDA, I'm gonna try to win with DLTs alone. That's the strategy here. Alright. And then the only one I'm unsure about is how to ruin this monster. Like, they... I believe I have bleed. Guard down, sunburn to one enemy, bleed. <sighs> I want to try to win with DLTs alone. So I don't need this. Let's give them um, bleed. Activates all cooldowns on one enemy. Yes. Activate Sunburn. Oh, nice. AoE Sunburn and massive water damage. So, I'm good to go. And I might... You know what? I feel like this is a team speed time. I'm not, but we're going to do... We're going to do all speed. We're going to do a three... A nine speed. This is... This is speed. Right here. Let me just make sure again. Don't need that. Guard down. 50% chance to guard down. Sunburn to one enemy. Um, Maybe instead of Deadly Interruption, Nuclear Raid would be better since I'm just going after DOTs. Activate all cooldowns. Bleed. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. All right. I'm feeling confident. Let us battle. I'm feeling confident again. So this is awesome. All right, we're taking on a six-team speed Warthok base. All right, I'm going to do... Mm, I'm going to CDA everyone. Activate cooldowns on Yobuki. I'm going to post-human activate cooldowns on Sunbringer. And I'm going to activate cooldowns on... Um, Sunblast. Now, he might have a zero cooldown skill, so he might OTK one of my monsters. Okay, I'm not dead. That's good. 
Next, I am gonna sunburn everyone. This is where the DLTs come in. So my accuracy is reduced. Wait, but I have pierce. Oh wait, I don't think that helps. Um, let's do beam of inferno. And let's do claw swipe. Uh, let's bleed. At least Sunbringer has all the DOTs. Oh, Neobuki can clear, right? Oh wait, no, activated cooldowns. Duh, that was the whole point of this team. I'm so glad that he couldn't OTK me. Even with six, with three, with all that. With all that strength, he couldn't OTK me. Alright, we'll block out the sun. Alright, still alive. Still kicking. I'm going to do ignition beam. Alright, there, I won this. Easy. Meltdown Ray. GG. Tax himself. Awesome. First victory. And we continue. Alright, Makugan, Gorg, and Chingling. Ha! I can't activate cooldowns! <laughs> oh, that is funny. Alright, that's cool. Applies possession. So who do we want to possess? Let's possess... Mm. Let's do Gorg, since I'm water-based. And Gorg... And then we'll do... Beam of, beam, beam of Inferno. And we'll do Bleed, Meltdown, Play Sunburn. I don't know what Chingling does. Maybe I should have possessed him. Here, I'm going to make a list of all the monsters I need to learn. Okay, nice. It's only removal from one. So Makugan's going to attack me. And Makugan could OTK... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. That was powerful. That was powerful. Alright, what does he do? Uh, restores all cooldowns on all allies. Applies cooldown protection to all allies. Removes positive effects from all enemies. Applies block positive. Applies precision. Applies damage boost to all Moves positive effects, removes all negative. Applies damage boost, applies precision. Restores all cooldowns, applies cooldowns protection. Um, so the question is... I should have probably possessed? Hmm. Dang. You know, that only really worked because he had three strength on that monster. Alright, so we have a Nabi line. Cool. <sighs> so we're going to activate cooldowns. On everyone. So check it out, we get to do it again. Activate cooldowns on Nabi line. Disable straight applies pierce. Activate cooldowns on Wasper. And activate cooldowns on Madam Fusion. Alright, uh, Wasper does have a zero cooldown poison skill, so let's see if he's running it. Piercing Sting, yep. Alright, luckily I'm alive. I am going to activate cooldowns and sunburn everyone, so this is where the DLT damage starts to kick in. I am going to do core exposure, sunblast, and then burn and ignite. Once I have this, look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, and then AoE bleed. Look at that DLT. It's just dead, dead, dead. 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 Almost dead. Next turn you're dead. And ignition beam. I'll be honest, every time I see that Warmaster Thalassa, 
Icon, I automatically assume they're gonna cheat me and disconnect because the last two people that disconnected, they had War Master the last icon. Got him, the other guy. All right, O'Reilly, Dragar, and Bell Breath. I'm scared because of Dragar. And O'Reilly. Okay, so the cool thing is, activates all cooldowns. Dang, I have. The Sunblast might kill me. Activates all cooldowns on one enemy. So, same strategy. Uh, Post human over here. And disempowerment over here. Got to make sure to get that water damage. So, I'm hoping it's a recharge, recharge, recharge. And then I can get into applying my DOTs. Warning shouts immune to control. That's fine. Good thing you don't have immune to torture. Oh, bleeding. Um, so let's activate cooldowns. Ooh. Let's activate cooldowns and apply sunburn. Let's not do core exposure. Let's do burn and ignite. And let's do a meltdown ray. A bleed. So I think, oh, that missed. Warning shouts, immune to control. That's one dead. Ooh, this is awesome. Yeah, I told you, DOT sometimes is the way to go. Awesome, awesome. So, we're at three victories, so I might get to five. This is good. This is really good. And here's the nine speed in action. Ugh, Thalassa icon, I'm scared. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Alright, I'm probably gonna get hit with um, Skill Mirror. Oh! You went with Possession. Interesting. Ha, <sighs> what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Should I just go with the DOTs already? Uh, Post Human on... We'll hit Gorg, because Gorg scares me. Uh, Disempowerment on Silverleaf. And Lightarium's gonna get a hit on me. I don't know what Lightarium does, to be honest. I have not even used mine. Oh, thank you for removing that from me. Cool, I got my artifact back. Alright. Opponent left. Ah, uh -huh, awesome. Onwards we go. Let's get that fifth victory in. Killer Mash, I got Fairy Day the Discharger. Is he good? I think any Fairy Day at level 100 is good. Basically, because he has Anticipation, he can essentially um, counter any extra turn monster. So I think you're good. Oh, we have a 6 team speed Fever Scatter. What are you doing on turn 1 with Sammy? Pesty? Are you dazing me? What can you possibly do with Sammy on turn 1? Days? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm still gonna try to activate cooldowns. So... Oh, you're cheating. That's what you're doing. You're cheating. This is dumb. Already disconnect. Are you serious? This is, this is live. This isn't restreamed. This is a live... So basically, whenever I see a Sammy going fast, that is a cheater. That's what I've learned. I'm like, why would you ever Sammy 3 speed? So now you know, watch out for those Warmaster Thalassa icons, and watch out for those Hukui icons. Like, that's how you got that icon, by cheating. Man, this is dumb. So there's three players that have disconnected now. And yeah, if Social Point doesn't fix this, it's it's definitely not worth investing the gems because you're just going to lose. Right? Like, it's going to be so hard to make it to 9 wins if people can just do this. So, I would recommend... I would recommend if a player disconnects more than 2 times, because maybe it happens once accident. No. If they disconnect, if they do this, like, they should be banned. They should be... They should completely be banned from doing it. 
And I feel like Social Point should compensate the players that got into this issue by giving them a golden grand dual ticket or giving them their 20 gems back or some 10 gems back. Man, this sucks. Amra, will they add a report button? They should. Alright, we're taking on player. Oh! These runes are so weird, I feel like I'm gonna get disconnected. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your runes are so weird. You're gonna disconnect, aren't you? Activate cooldowns. Activate cooldowns. Activate cooldowns. Or maybe unstoppable. Or maybe not. What the heck? Maybe it's just a weird rune combination. Some blast. Um, I don't want to do that. Beam of Inferno. And bleed to everyone. Oh, I still get a turn in. Uh, remove stamina. Here, let's remove stamina. <clears throat> Apply sunburn, ignition. Let's apply single ignite over here. Uh, over here, I don't know. You shouldn't worry, he's level 37. Oh, what if I lose? <laughs> Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Uh, cover the world in darkness. At least I got to five wins, which is what I wanted. Core exposure. Anticipation kicks in. DOT kills you. Ignition beam. GG. Alright. Fight. Uh, don't bother asking what. What's the question? What question? The chat is helpful. I like the chat. What are you talking about? How many nemesis? How many nemesis souls? Um, I think we have thirty-three, so we need sixty-seven. My favorite monster by design is still Kai the Eradicator. I won my first grand duel with nine wins, and I don't know what 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 team did you use? What team and what runes? What if SP added a timer where people disconnect? And when the timer is over, they get... Yeah, they should do that. I don't see why they don't do that. Alright. I, I don't even see who I'm facing. Soul Hugger. Oh! What? Oh, this player doesn't know that you can change the runes! I think that's what happened here. Means to dark, means to possession, means to corruption. That's cool. I am going to... See? I love... Oh, shoot! Clippium has... Has taunt. Ah, this is my first time fighting taunt, actually. We completely forgot that was a thing. Oh, shoot. Apply sunburn. Do you have sunburn? You don't have sunburn. So let me activate the sunburn to reduce your accuracy. I haven't fought taunt. I completely forgot taunt was a thing. All right, let's see. Why are people... I'm actually asking how to do this. This is an easy way to be labeled that guy. Seriously, you should not be doing this. Like, your objective should not be, I'm going to learn how to cheat because no one's going to like you. Do not do that. Trust us. Ignition beam. I think I can win without a DLT, right? Claw swipe. Um, Post-human. Ignition beam. Yeah, we'll post-human you. Uh, deadly interruption. Disempowerment. We'll do Deadly Interruption. Dead. Dead. Awesome. On to six wins. Posthuman is awesome. I never saw Jastar and Eclipium in Grand Duels. I didn't know Eclipium was a thing. My first legendary monster was a Nabotus. I actually bred him. He's awesome. Dark Souls? Nabotus. What the heck? What is... Okay, why am I at 6 wins and we're getting these level 24 players that are ruining their monsters very, very, very weirdly? Activate cooldowns. 
I mean, not that I mind. Activate cooldowns. Activate cooldowns. I think they only removed mega top monsters, but not top monsters. Jester and Clipium are not available in Grand Duels, I'm sure. Oh, maybe this player has an outdated version or something? I don't know. Oh, that's true, huh? Meltdown Ray. Ooh, let's kill let's kill this guy before Ah oh, 58 HP left. Armor, is this a comeback? Yeah, but I don't think it's deserved. Do this. Um do this. Do this. Do this. And do this. Awesome. Alright, cool. We're at seven wins. It should have been eight wins. Should have been eight wins. But hey, at least we're doing this. This is a comeback, actually. This is awesome. And now I'm going to get wrecked for bragging about my comeback. Uh, I want to know how to do it because... I want to do it back when other people try it. I mean, if they do it first and you do it back at them, I don't think anything will happen. All right. Did I just get taunted again? Mm, what to do? Wow. That's basically my team. Uh, that taunt is going to mess things up. Do I try to possess or do I still CDA? I'm still going to CDA. All right. Then I am going to... Uh, I'm going to Ignition Beam because the other one wouldn't do anything and I'm going to... Oh man, what do I do? I guess single bleed, I don't know. <laughs> Darn that evasion. What are you running anyways? Ooh. I think I'm gonna get wrecked. The post-human. I just got post human the good thing I'm running Ignition Beam. Bet you weren't counting on that, were you? Buddy. Alright. Ignite. Um, at least I can sunburn everyone. So that reduces accuracy. I might win this one? I'm not... No. <laughs> never mind. I was like, I could maybe win. Uh, We'll do this. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, I lost this. All right. Hey. Post-human can penetrate taunt. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. I forgot that. Oh. This is what happens when you don't play with these kinds of monsters. Darn. Ah, uh, shoot. So here's the thing about Haxer. He used to be meta. Uh, he's still great. He can time stop. He can AoE stun. AoE possess. Um, he can bypass regular possessions, and then he his trait is the bad thing about him. So we made it to 7 wins, which I'm happy for. We got 9 Nemesis Souls. We'll take the 15 Light Cells. We got Nemesis Souls. And more importantly, we get a Grand Duel ticket, which means we could potentially do another one. Let me talk to Zara, see if I should continue. I was still cheated. Keep that in mind. I was still cheated. In the meantime, let me just reply to the chat. All right. Um, do 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 do. Do 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 do. What's the best tip to what? Uh, do a classic duel. Armor, you could have activated cooldowns on Nitro Blaster. See? Yeah, that was a misplay. I completely forgot. I could have post humaned cooldown activating Nitro Blaster, and then that would have been good. I mean, the thing was that Hukuai having that two strength and the, the fact that he set up evasion, that without like that was challenging in itself. But it happens. 
All right, let's see. You know what? Let me check out the monsters. Why was there a Clipium and a, and a Jazzy? That's from the first Gen Ha. Yeah, that's crazy. I was like, no wonder I haven't seen a top monster in forever. So basically, as long as you as, as long as you know all these monsters and what they do, like you'll be good. So don't be me. Like if there's a monster you're unfamiliar with, like first row, I know what they do. Second row, I'm pretty good. Lady Slaris, I'm kind of forgetful, but I know she's a light killer and an attacker, uh, a spirit killer. So don't worry about her too much. Stormbeard, I know can stamina drain. Makugan, I need to check out her skills. Psyche, I need to familiarize myself with. Nebuline, I think I kind of familiarized myself with, but I still want to check it out. And Madam Fusion, I know there's a lot of support. I don't know if that's good. So, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. So, this point, we'll probably fix the exploit. We'll fix the people that exploit it. Hopefully, they, they get some kind of repercussion or, or something. Um, how to get more people on your team. You basically have to go on global and just try to get people on your team. Um, I would advise joining Discord or Facebook and just uh, advertising your team because probably global is not the best place. What do I think is the best monster? That's hard to answer because that could be a best attacker, best denier, best in an element, best in a book. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's, you know why? It's because my Nitro is still level 1, and I'm ranking him up as we speak. Pierce can bypass evasion. I know Pierce can bypass evasion. If you saw the last, one of the last battles, I did Pierce on a monster that had evasion on Wasper, and someone commented like, Armor, why'd you do that? He had evasion. I'm like, yeah, but I have I have Pierce. I The, the whole taunt just threw me off. Uh, let's see. Doo, 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 doo. How did you get Grand Dole tickets armor? I have mine saved from the last time. And actually, I haven't gotten any Grand Dole tickets. Social Point should make a way to get them. I feel like they should put a Grand Dole ticket in the monthly calendar. Um, let's see. Doo, 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 doo. I have 45 Elite Souls. Awesome. Who's the best metal legendary monster? Um, probably Myrak, I would say, if I had to quant if I had to boil it down to a monster, Myrak. Postatron is pretty good too. Um, you get forty gems daily for free. I don't think anyone gets forty gems daily for free. Actually, if you place in the top five thousand. And you do the dungeons. I wonder how many, how much that is. I need to calculate how much gems can a player get in a week. And then divide that by 7. Alright, so let me see how many Nemesis souls. So we have 275 gems. The original plan was to do live duels, grand duel, until I, I could get 100 Nemesis souls. Um... Currently, we are at 42, so I don't think that's going to be possible, especially with everyone cheating. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the four Grand Old tickets, and this will be our last Grand Old battle. Once again, this is not my account. I am on Zara's account, so be sure to give a huge thanks to Zara right now in the chat. But thank you, Zara, for this amazing opportunity, and let's hope I get some good monsters. Nebuline, Verdi the Discharger, and Wasper. Let me know in the chat what monster do you think I should pick. And again, this is a community-oriented live stream. So, we will straw poll this. Although, I already know who's going to win. I feel like I do. I think Nabuline is going to take it. But I could be mistaken. Maybe it's a Wasper. Maybe... I don't think Faraday will win. But maybe Wasper. But I'm pretty sure Nabuline will win. But let's see. We need a Grand Old ticket from Classic Dolls. Yeah, if if they um if Social Point made it possible for you to get a dole ticket from Classic Dolls, I think more players would do Classic Dolls. I never do the Classic Dolls. I just don't think it's worth my time. Like I could probably spend like thirty minutes, and if I do win all the all six battles, all I get is a few like a few cells, and I can get those cells from doing a dungeon 
like very easily. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of Faradays. Why? Why so much Faraday love? Do you guys see that there isn't that many extra turners, really, that you encounter? Oh wow, I really thought it was going to be Wasper Nabiline with overwhelming Nabiline support. But I think it goes without saying Nabiline is going to take it. So, Nabiline. Um, Wasper's back. We got Hukla. Was Wait, why? Zorgon wasn't even that great, right? I don't remember, I don't remember Zorgon being good. Uh, I'm not gonna even do a straw pull because I think Hukwai will take it. Why? The game, the game wants me to use Wasper, I swear. Wasper's still here. Alright, I don't think this is necessarily the best, best team. Um, Curse and Stamina League removes 25% from, that's bad, it removes 25 from itself. Earth damage, anticipation. I could have double anticipation. I think Wasper is gonna take this one. I can trade disable. I can. I start off the game with evasion. Triple damage, days to itself. Um, yeah, I think Wasper is gonna take this one. But let's see what you guys say. Let me create a straw poll. I will put Wasper. Whoops. I'll put, so unfortunately this is where the RNG comes in, where I didn't get very good monsters. But we'll see what happens. Create pull. Let me see. DLT, does he have DLT? Well I know he has, oh shoot! I thought this was single target. Never mind. Yeah, I remember because I was thinking about using him in the last one. The Christmas Stamina Leak is amazing. So I think I can do another, like, Stamina Leak kind of team. Or not Stamina Leak. A DLT, maybe. I have Bleed with you. I have Quicksand with you. And I have Curse with Nero. I think... Wait. I think, actually... I don't even... I think Naroke is gonna... I think I'm gonna do Naroke. Okay, so... Because Wasper, yeah, he has... I think I'm going to do Naroke. I think I'm going to go for... Here, we'll try this. And then you can't... You can't disagree with Yami. Alright, so we're going to do this. Just so if you guys are interested, this was the straw poll. Wasper, Naroke, and Lady Solaris. So, just so you guys can see. But, let's fix this real quick. So, Rock Knuckles, yes. Yes, and I don't think I need or extraction. 50% damage mirror to one ally removes 50% from all enemies. Oh my gosh, that is so much stamina drain. I love it. Oh, we even have okay, we're good here. Um, so I've been told he has a hundred percent stamina drain. I don't know why they don't advertise that. So removes positive effects from one enemy. Don't need that necessarily. Deals heavy 50% stamina drain, 100%. Oh, I love this. Yes. This should be in his designated skill set. I don't know why it's not. Um, Spear of Savannah for sure. I don't think I need this. Instead, probably. Probably the single Kurt. No, we'll do the 50% single, 50% drain. Removes all negative effects and applies life regen to itself. I like that. In case I need it. Fast Metabolism. My only trouble is what if I encounter a Dodge Aerial Monster? AoE, AoE. Single target. Do I really need this many AoEs? Multiple enemies, multiple enemies. 100% Stamina Drain. I don't think I need the I'm going to run or Extraction in case I encounter a Mega Top Monster. A mega top monster, a dodge area monster. And then only one that's left to change is you. Sunburn, yes. Yes. Um, we're gonna bleed again. Ellie really bleed. So yeah, we're going the DLT route again. We're going the DLT route. Deadly interruption. And then we are gonna go 
the 9 speed route because I love 9 speed. I just feel like it's an effective way to counter. Let me look at everything real quick. Sometimes I wonder, like, do I need deadly interruption? Um, do 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 do. All right, let me see. I think this is good. Rock knuckles, stone ore. Yeah, I think I'm good with this. Uh. Do 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 do. Naroken deny. Naroken deny. Okay, <laughs> okay, I get it. Get it. Get rid of down the cave. Down the cave on Nabuline, right? Oh yeah, I got rid of it for. Yeah, cool. We're on the same page, Yami. Nine speed wouldn't be bad. I agree. All right, let's try it. This is another team speed. Not team speed. This is another DLT kind of team, where my monsters have denial. Narok specifically, they all have like 100% stamina drain, 100% stamina drain, cooldown activate. So I'm pretty good. Can't be, can't get hit with denial, can't get hit with denial. Immune to stun and anticipation. I think I'm good. I'm pretty sure I'll win with this team. Look, there's a Hell Gudin. So I got this. Nine team speed is faster. Isn't it tight? Isn't nine team speed and nine speed the same? Uh, Stone Coffin removes 100% of stamina. So, dang, we're going to get into the stamina drain battle. I have to do it because I don't want... I'll do it from Halgudin. Removes 50%. Applies Curse and Stamina Leak. Um, removes 100% of stamina and Nightmares. Well, I don't want Silver Leaf. I think I'm fine. Um, and then I can do disempowerment. Alright. Six strength. Yikes. Oh! Check this out. Yami, nine speed is better than nine team speed because if one of your monsters dies, then your other two monsters become slower. Ah, see? That insights. Alright, recharge. Alright, this is where my skills kick in. So, removes negative effects, life regen. So, we'll do this first. Alright, I did cooldown activated. So, let me see. What do you have? Oh, you're also. So, let me drain your stamina because you scare me. Let me, let me tr focus on killing Helgudin. Okay, so this is where the Mega Stun comes in. Apply Stun twice in Quicksand to all enemies. Bam. Awesome. Curse and Stamina Leak. Bam. Awesome. Deadly Interruption. We're going to work on killing Halgudin with my Hukuai. Recharge. Uh, fast Metabolism I don't need. 50% Stamina Drain. 100%. Uh, curse. We're gonna drain your stamina. Uh, claw swipe. Deadly interruption. Meltdown. Disempowerment. Let's activate cooldowns on Halgudin. So Halgudin's not a threat anymore, actually. Or extraction. Mega stun. Removes 100% stamina drain. Apply stamina leak. <laughs> Let's drain stamina. I love this. Alright, power. Removes 50%. Ah, Miz! The monster just disappeared! I love this! This team is awesome. Alright, let us continue. Hey, he is fighting me. Was that you? Maitri Gaming? Was that you? That's awesome. Alright, we have a Nebula and a Flambe and a Stormbeard. Alright, enemy Nebula goes first, so I'm probably going to get stamina drained. Alright, the cool thing is, I don't have to worry about getting... Stunned, right? All of my monsters are immune to stun. So, I can do... I'm actually going to start off with the Curse and Stamina Leak. I'm going to start off with the DOT. Um, Because they don't have any removal. So, I'll even Sunburn. 
I'm just gonna go straight into the DOT. Anchors is fine with me. I think going straight into the DOT was a good one. Because I will get hit with the quicksand, but that curse doing its effect, I'll be fine. Yeah, recharge. Uh, Do I want to do fast metabolism? Yes, I do. Oh. Ah, wait. Yes, I do. Do I? Yes, I do. Ooh, 6,000. That's fine, though. Please don't kill me. Because the curse is going to drain their stamina, so I'm good. Unless he has poison. Ah, oh, he killed me. Uh, claw swipe. Bleed on everyone. GG. Oh, miss. Dead and still alive, but that's fine. Nebulan will survive. Or extraction. Bam. Disempowerment. 75 HP. Awesome. Onwards we go. Don't don't jinx me, Rohan. Things are going great now. Ah, oh, they're doing nine speed as well. So whose nine speed build is better? I'm gonna say the enemy has the advantage because they have Dragar and Dragar is too powerful. Like what the heck? Sunburn at the start of the battle? How do I even win? Um, shoot, who do I even, I'm going to get hit with this empowerment, uh, 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 darn it. Oh, thank goodness, thank you for recharging. Look, we have the same strategy. Why would you disempowerment if you know I have deadly interruption? Ah, oh, that sunburn at the start of the battle is too good. Like, if you ever have a chance to get Dragar on turn 1, you might as well do it, and then just build a team around DOTs. Oh, nice, it landed. Alright, extra turn skill. Like, if I do Fast Metabolism, I'll still die. Is it worth doing Fast Metabolism? I'll just go for this, I don't care right now. Like, ooh, it landed, the curse landed, that's nice. Oh, thank you, Curse. He still has his zero cooldown skill, so he can still attack me. But yeah, that, that's better than doing uh, Metabolism, because Metabolism wouldn't have helped. Um, Who do I go for? Let's go for you. Another miss. Recharge. If I could land the Quicksand, that would be nice. Or it would be a stun, too. It would be a Mega Stun and Quicksand. Even with Daze, it might land. Ouch, just got hit with the Mark of Zygar. He's going to Deadly Interruption Nabuline, and that's GG for me. Bam, Disempowerment. Just join Hook Speed. Yeah, I'm doing the 9th Speed build. Oh. Cool. <laughs> you do, even with that. No, that Daze was too strong. The Daze made it miss. Ah, doesn't fast metabolism remove negative effects? Yes, it does, but Hukwai's uh, anticipation would have kicked in, and then he could have still just attacked me. So I figured, like, since I'm going to die anyways, it would have been better for me to try to land something. And surprisingly, the curse did land. So that was good. I would say Sharazar is better than Pierce side. I love Sharazar. Teams immune to cooldowns activated at the start of the battle. True vision means you're not missing anything. Pierce side's awesome. Not Pierce side. Well, Pierce side also has like true vision, self true vision, and then the the denial is crazy. But I, I'd say Sharazar. Great dispel is like so powerful. All right, what do we do? You know what? We can get straight into the stamina drain because I can curse everyone. Yeah, so they're gonna be like at zero. Here, we'll even... What? We're... Actually, no. Let's see. 35. Oh, so I have 35 stamina to work with. 
Regen? Eh, that's fine. Days is OP. Seriously, it seems like it in that last battle. Oh, what do you have? Two strength. And you have also two strength. Ah, scary, scary. I gotta kill Hukwai first, since he has the zero cooldown skill. Dang! Alright, let's, uh... Let's quicksand. Um... I'm going to do Fast Metabolism, because I think the DLT on Hukuai, yeah, so he'll die next turn. He gets a hit of Disempowerment, but, or, yeah, not Disempowerment, Deadly Interruption, but I think I won. Yeah, I think I got this. What do you have? Curse, Regen, so I'll just deal some extra damage, and there we go. Bam! Is Ruby better than Sherizar? No, I would say Sherizard in the current meta is a lot more powerful. Ew, Zorgon. Why do you have Zorgon? Is he also doing 9 speed? He is also doing 9 speed. So, I'm going to start off with... 50%. I'm going to... 100% drain... Nitro Blaster. Since I can't land DOT, he's a threat to me right now. Got hit with a Bleeding. And I think CDA? Okay. Um, what do I have? Corrupted. Will cast a random skill? No! Recharge! Thank you! Um, I'm gonna shut down. Nitro Blaster for a while. Yeah, I got hit with CDA. Hey, happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday. Oh, I have been streaming for two hours. Whoa. Oh, so many negative effects. If only there was a way to get rid of some of these negative effects. Oh, he ran Ignition Beam too. Oh, I got hit with CDA. Oh, Stormbeard has CDA. Darn. Wait, what is this blasphemous? Why are you disconnecting if you're winning? What is going on? Oh! What? So, I should have lost that one. But I'll take it. I think that was a legit disconnect, not a, those other disconnects. So, or maybe it's a person watching the live stream and they want me to continue. Thank you. I don't know. Sheep lover, armor, thank you for putting my art in one of your videos. Oh, you are welcome. Was it from the Discord? Like, Arium, Neil, Buki, and Makugan. Okay, based on the rune setups, I am pretty sure I have this one. I actually don't even know if those runes were changed from the original monsters. I think their device died. It's possible. Is it is it funny that I don't know what like Arium does? Like I know he blinds and stuff. I don't know. Possesses? Is he a possessor? Uh, what do you have, Makugan? Makugan scares me. Makugan scares me a lot. So we're gonna remove from Makugan. Ah, you would curse me. <laughs> We're going to Disempowerment Neobuki. What I like about having two monsters immune to control is that a Lightarium... I know Lightarium can do like double possession or something. So that doesn't scare me because I'm immune to possession. And now I just became immune to possession. And I'm glad I ran Fast Metabolism since it removes negative effects. See? Oh, so many negative... Uh. Alright, I will do the Quicksand. Aw, uh, I don't... I don't. I just wanted the Quicksand to land. I'll do Fast Metabolism... And we will do, uh, removes 50%, Nightmares. We will save the Nightmares. So what's is 50% Drain? Oh, so much damage. I'm going to die next turn. Not cool. Oh, not enough. I thought I would win this, but I might lose this. 
I need a clear skill. I don't have anything to clear. Ah, shoot. Why did the why did possession have to curse and nightmare me or curse and stamina leak me? If it wasn't for that, I would have won this. Darn it. Fast metabolism, please. Fast metabolism. Fast metabolism. No. Ha, if it wasn't for getting possessed and cursing my own team. Like, I could have done anything else to my team and it would have been fine. But because I cursed my own team, that's a loss. I'm remind how good and Old Nair are rank 1. Is it good that they both have a level 2 X strength? I don't think Old Nair is deserving of a level 2, of a level X rune. I think Helgudin is, but I don't know about Old Nair. <laughs> With Lady Slayers, you would have won this match. I mean, I I could have killed. I could, yeah, the triple damage against Neil Buki and against Lightyrium would have come in handy for sure. Fun fact: Makun can also have zero cooldown, zero stamina skill. Oh. Armor, someone did the disconnect tactic on me. I had the patience and I waited for an hour. But eventually I gave up and just took the loss. Ooh, you waited one whole hour. That's crazy. And the rogue betrayed you. Yes, he did. Alright. Uh, Nebuline Sunbringer. I know I need a stamina drain Sunbringer. But let's see what happens to me. Dwarven protection. Alright, we are gonna... Stamina leak. I think I can stamina leak and curse everyone again. Uh, you know what? We're gonna deny everyone. We'll deny everyone. Heh heh heh. And then I can get into actual denial. So this is a victory for me. <laughs> Easy. God, I love nine speed builds. Curse. Sunburn. Oh, look at all that DLT. It's beautiful. 18,000 minus 35 stamina. Is Sunbringer that scary? I don't think so. 35 stamina. I think that's enough for one attack. What's he running? Two strength? Eh. No biggie. Here, let's drain stamina. Stamina leak. Let's, um... F I don't need to do fast metabolism. Let's just give you... Put you at zero. Let's bleed everyone. Claw swipe and GG. <laughs> Even though it missed everyone. 28,000. Um... Just dealing some damage now. 21,929. Opponent left. Awesome! So we made it to five battles, and so, or five victories, and so we get a grand duel ticket! Yay! But let us continue. How do you know so much about what monsters like, what skills to use on them? Just after playing enough, you kind of get an idea of like what monster needs what kind of skill and all that stuff. What should I put on Old Nair? I, I just don't think Old Nair is actually that great of a monster. Uh, so I don't know if she's one that I would even use. But I would definitely... I would give that level 10 rune... The two level 10 strength runes on her and like just save them for another monster. Another attacker. Alright, yeah, dude, we've been streaming for two hours. Wow. Awesome, once again, thank, thank Zara. Not me so much. Well, actually, I am streaming. My voice is disappearing. All right, we have a look. See, so he he can deny one person. He went with a stamina leak. I'm gonna go with a Sammy can do pains. How much is pain? No, you know what? Neil Buki can also remove. Mm. Let's do this. Let's hundred percent stamina drain you. Let's do. 100% stamina drain on Neo, and we're gonna quote on activate Sammy. Bam! I love the versatility. 
And this gives me enough stamina to be able to apply the stun. Oh, wait. Rock Knuckles. I don't have enough. Ah. Ah, that's fine. This gives me enough stamina to do this. Um, I can curse and stamina leak, everyone. So on the next turn, the curse will really take effect. Oh, it only landed on... Didn't land on Sammy. Darn it. Why not on Sammy? But let me apply Sunburn. So this auto shut down Neobuki and Volthard. Luckily, they're faster than Sammy. So it doesn't, it doesn't even matter that Sammy can do pain because... Well, right now his cooldowns are active. So this is a victory for me. Recharge. Recharge. And... Ooh, who should I attack? A curse. I'll attack Sammy. Because Neil's going to die. Oh. Uh, Neil's not going to have enough stamina. No, Neil actually did die. Sammy's dead. Voltar's dead. Boom! So see guys, anyone that thinks team speed is a way to go, 6 team speed, uh, don't count out 9 speed. Especially if you have monsters with a single deny, that's when 9 speed can really shine and work wonders. If all of your monsters have a single deny, like 100% stamina drain, 100% stamina drain, quote on activate, and, your other, and one of your denies has an AoE deny, that's when the team can really work well. Alright, let's see. Fun Dungeons, Trade Disable, yikes, Stamina Leak, and Trade Disable, yikes! Both monsters with immune to control just got Trade Disabled. Um, we are going to do... We are going to... 100% Stamina Drain Hopkin. We're gonna... We're gonna... 100 stamina per stamina drain you and we're gonna disempower nitro blaster I remember another comeback don't jinx me. I don't know this one's iffy. I think there's a chance. I could lose this one still Retreat and regroup interesting. I don't know if that was necessary Because he didn't have any negative effects He's here to help wait. Why would you do he should have help on him? Apply stun twice. Um, so we're gonna... We're gonna mega stun you. Fast metabolism to get, to get rid of stamina leak. And we're gonna... 50% drain. That won't do anything. Curse and stamina leak. Darn it. I guess we'll just curse and stamina leak to... On you... Meltdown Ray apply Sunburn. Honestly, we're just gonna kill Hopkin now. I'm gonna kill Hopkin. So Hopkin's pretty much dead. Nitro Blaster, I don't think he can do much. So I think we got this. Stamina Leak, Rock Knuckles. Bam. Recharge. Disempowerment. Oh, Deadly Interruption. Perfect. Claw Swipe. Deadly Interruption. Perfect. Bam. Nitro Blaster dead. Hopkin's dead. And then I can single target enemy, so 100% stamina drain. Got it. Woo! Onwards we go. This is looking really good. Two more wins. Come on, two more wins. Let's do it. No disconnects. Come on. Let's get it done. Uh, Naroko's a great choice. Naroko's a really great choice. I'm glad I didn't go with Wasper. Wasper wouldn't have helped. Wasper doesn't single deny. He can trade disable, but that doesn't matter as much. As you saw, yeah, I could trade disable Nitro Blaster, but even better, I'm 100% stamina draining. I'm activating cooldowns. So let's do this. It would be nice to end with nine victories with those, what, 12 Nemesis Souls and those dual tickets, those grand dual tickets. Come on, let's do this. Oh my gosh, Ugh, I'm hungry. I think he was about to disconnect strat you. Ah, don't say that. Where's the battles? Come on. Da -da. How does everyone have monsters that are level 100? Hey, armor. The fire elite monster Dracor has a skill that has a 50% chance of mega stun and there's no warm up. Yeah, 50% chance skills. 
Oh, wait. I think if it's a meta stun, if it's AoE, it's supposed to. If it's single target, it's not supposed to. Okay, based on this skill set of eight team seven team speed, I think I can win this. I can literally deny everyone again. So we are going to do... Um, who do I want to do disempowerment on? We'll do 100% stamina drain on you. We'll do... 100% stamina drain on you. And we'll disempower you. Because I don't want to get CD8. Alright, I'm going to have to win with DLT. So I got... I think I'm pretty sure I got this one in the bag. You mean to control? That's fine. I don't need to mega stun you. I need to DLT you like crazy. So, quicksand everyone. Whoa, that was a lot of misses. Um, curse and stamina leak. And a sunburn. Tommy Psyka doesn't have a zero cooldown removal, right? Nope. Recharge. Dead. Almost dead. Uh, yes! Okay, we're at eight victories. We just need one more to go. Let's do this. Ah, oh, this would be a great way to end the live stream. Whew. Good team. Nine team speed for the win. Or nine team speed. Why do I keep saying that? Nine speed. Nine speed for the win. No, it's Dragar. Ah, it's a Dragar. That's scary. All right, the cool thing is that... Please do retreat. Please do regroup and retreat. Save me. Wait, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> All right. I'm scared because of a Dragar. Um, the cool thing is that Hopkin doesn't have denial, so if I don't miss my attacks, I can win. Ooh, countdown. Alright, so I need to 100% stamina drain. Success. 28 stamina. Ah! Is that enough to attack? I don't know, Stormbeard? What are you going to do? What is Stormbeard going to do? Bleed. Okay. That's fine with me, I think. Um... Stupid Hopkin and your... And your... Wait, why did you only get 14? Oh, because Nightmares. Thank you, Nightmares. So you're going to recharge. Uh... Uh, what do I do? Disempower... Who do I disempower? Hopkin? Because I think I'll survive, right? So I don't want that positive effect skill. I don't want that positive effect skill. I thought about doing disempowerment on Stormbeard because of the stamina region, but I should be fine. Oh! When did I get my cooldowns activated? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Does anyone have anticipation? No. Uh, let's start with the D.O.T. Spear of Savannah, Curse and Stamina Leak. Why is everything missing on you? I don't like you, Stormbeard. Fuse Radar, good choice, good choice. I don't think you have a clearing effect anymore, though. Oh, what's the cooldown of that, like one? Darn it, I lost this. Oh, that sucks. Ah, oh, I got wrecked by a Hopkin. It was that dumb stamina at the start of the battle. Alright, I'm not going down without a fight. So let me kill you, Hopkin. Or try to. Ah, uh, we need the Monster Legend Gods to, like, to turn off this player's phone so they can disconnect. Come on. Ah, uh, they had me die with D.O.T. Ah, uh, sadness. Well, I was so close to those 12 Nemesis Souls. I still got 10, which is awesome. So, I will take it. I will take it. 10 Nemesis Souls 
and here we go. With this being said, I think this is a great way to end the live stream. Once again, a huge thanks to Zara for letting me use your account to do the Grand Duels to try to get you Nemesis Souls. Overall, I did okay, I think. There was a few problems we ran into, you know, there were some disconnects that made me kind of mad and was completely unfair. And I remember God, and there was a few more. Don't trust anyone with a War Master Thalassa icon because they probably cheated to get it. No, I'm just kidding. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a pretty long live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be releasing a video later today on mop because I finally leveled up my mop. So you guys finally get to see that. And I also have a monster analysis on Positron, which I might release later tonight even or maybe tomorrow morning. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. With that being said, I will see you all next time.